Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer, and welcome to this week's Explore Tulsa. Trish, a diva like you should have yard art to match, and I know just where to find it. Stevie, I'm not a diva, and I don't think Lisa Regan is either, but her sculptures are very unique and popular, something everyone would want for their yard. Especially goddess like you and the garden diva. I was raised with uh, a random machine shop, so I was raised around sparks and metal. Anyway, crawling, I mean, you know, that size. My grandfather had a machine shop, and then when he died, my mother inherited it and turned it into something else. So I was always around it, but I hadn't really learned how to do anything. And um, I went to go visit a friend that was studying art, <coughs> it was, you know, when I was college age. He was out in California, and um, I fell in love with this plasma cut work. And I was like, well, how do you do this? And so he told me how to do it, and I came back and was like, oh, I have most of these tools right here, and just literally started and never stopped. So I would walk around, I'd be like, that's the most beautiful. I had no idea that car parts were so cool, you know, like those springs and all those little shapes. Um, so yeah, I mean, it all still totally inspires me, and I'm always interested in metal art and people that are doing welding and what they're doing. And I mean, I have a lot to learn. I mean, I've been doing this for 16, 17 years. I am self-taught, so. You know, we just kind of figure stuff out as we go. Really, what I wanted to be when I grew up was a poet, and I couldn't figure out how to make a living at it, so I started making a living, and then um, missed that, and so I've kind of incorporated poetry into this all along. But um, I was doing, I was going to Johnson Atelier at the time, which is like our waterworks today. It's a city arts program, and I learned basket making and silk screening and I mean I was doing that kind of stuff and because I was um, a single mom and I was always trying to make a living I would turn those fun projects into money I would learn to silk screen t-shirts and I would figure out somebody to buy them and you know it's just how my brain I guess I've got both sides of that thing going I got a big contract right away with Better Homes and Gardens. And so I was knocking out, you know, huge dollars of stuff pretty soon. So I realized right away, I can do this. You know, and then I just was <laughs> literally recycling boxes from around town. I didn't have a lot of money, so I was just trying to figure out a way to do it. And um, eventually now I've got seven employees. I mean, at the time I was hiring one person, then another person to help me. And the biggest thing is the computer age. I mean, I still don't understand it. I hire young, smart people that do. But for instance, um, in that, the, I mean, I still hand cut and hand draw what I do as an art process. But if, as a business person, if you came to me and you wanted a thousand or a hundred of your logo, I could make that for you because we scan it in the computer, we move nodes around, it talks to the system, I have a CNC machine and it cuts it out. So as a business person, I can, I'm a lot more profitable. The first step is a design, as a drawing. So if I can put it on paper, then I t transfer it to the metal, and that's done with soapstone, and I just draw it out, and then I use the torch and cut it. And then from there, it's cleaned, the metal's cleaned with a sort of a, a wire wheel brush. Then it's welded, then it's maybe in a, some kind of a clear coat or a paint, or the bench I'm sitting on is actually powder coated. Um, right now this piece behind me is kind of abstract and it's movable and so that's totally strays from what I've been doing to make a living all these years. Diva means happy spirit and so the work you'll notice it's like these cheerful little kids and so that's kind of what I've done. You know when I first started I had four little kids and they were sort of my inspiration and so it's hard to get away from that because that's what people recognize me as but when I can break free and do this kind of just totally abstract pulling it out of whatever, it brings me some joy and, as an artist. Well, Tulsa's happening, you know, there's no doubt about that. Tulsa's a great place to be as an artist. I mean, I have this amazing huge studio for pennies on the square foot, pretty much, you know. So I, it never was really an option to leave, although I love to travel. I like to like leave for three months at a time and be inspired by other cultures and other ways. Uh, you know, I have four kids that all live here right now, and I have grandkids, so it's not even in my thought process to move this studio somewhere else.